Williams, and that's slightly slower than we saw from Villeneuve. Now Schumacher plunges down into the Ravazza, gets it in clean. Now part two, and what are we going to see? Interesting to see that his second split time is the fastest we've seen of the entire session by anybody. So this could be an improvement for Schumacher, but will it be enough? Ben, I think it is, because he was 18 and a half seconds at the benchmark point we have been looking at all weekend. But can Schumacher snatch pole? Yes! Michael Schumacher for Ferrari goes fastest and the cheer as he goes past is just immense but he's oh, he's, lost it. he's well, lost it. the exuberance but he's kept it going absolutely magnificent but has he kept it going or not? I thought he had and that's all over for Michael Schumacher but what a fantastic with 30 seconds remaining enough time for this man and enough time for Jacques Villeneuve no, it's not going to be good enough from Damon Hill, but he will be, I'm sure, very, very disappointed not to start from pole half a second away from Schumacher's time. The only man so far, and I'm sure the only man at all. There we go. Look at the understeer turning in. That's the understeer we've seen. And Schumacher did a second run, but there's always oh, a rear suspension failure. We didn't notice that the first time. Something on the rear suspension of the Ferrari looks like one of the upper links on that rear suspension failed. In other words, we didn't see any reason for that to occur. It just appeared under load. All of a sudden, the wheel buckles under the car. Schumacher thrown into a spin. We thought it was a driver error. In fact, it was not. It was something in the drive shaft also flaying around. So that will be cause for concern for Ferrari team, a very sudden and a very unexpected, unusual occurrence. And Michael Schumacher spins, we thought he was going to pick it up and he knew what